somebody help me with my intro? Give me something I can say that's like my tagline because hi guys, it's just annoying me and I don't like saying it anymore. So please help me out guys, give me something to say. Give me a tagline people, please. Fucking phone's ringing, oh my god. Who rings the phone for that long? Who actually rings the phone for that long? Like, so today I'm gonna do my makeup essentials. These are basically products that I continuously buy and have been buying for a while now. So just basically my holy grail makeup products. Disclaimer, I'm not that good at makeup. I'm not like, I'm not, I don't claim that I'm like really good makeup as you probably know because I don't do tutorials or anything like that. There's people on YouTube who are like amazing at makeup and that's not me, but I do like makeup and I still think I would like to show you guys what I use every single day and stuff that I keep buying. Starting off with the face. Um, primer is something that I don't wear every single day, but I do wear when I'm like going on a night out or need my makeup to last longer. And this is the Pore Professional by Benefit. I absolutely love this stuff. It goes on so silky smooth and it makes your foundation stay on and go on really, really well. It's not as expensive as other primers. It's about 30 euro, which I think is expensive, but it's worth it. And you only use a tiny little bit and it goes a long way. And I even put this on with no foundation. It just gives your skin a nicer kind of um, even tone. So the Pore Professional is definitely a must for me in my makeup bag. Okay, so moving on to foundation. This foundation I've been wearing since I was about 20, so it's quite a long time. And it is Bare Minerals. This is a Bare Minerals foundation. Now this is like a powdery foundation. Um, it has SPF 15 in it. I wear medium beige. Um, I'll try and give you an idea. It's basically like, comes like that and you just tap out the powder. And I use, um, what's this called? I use an Eco Tools brush. This is actually I think meant for wet foundation, but I really like how it applies this. And you just kind of brush it on, buffer it on like that, and you build it up. So you can have a really, really light um, coverage or you can go heavier if you just keep building it up. Um, and I really like this and it's so good for your skin. It doesn't contain any bad stuff. Um, it's just all natural, mineral foundation. I don't really get spots or any sort of um, like red patch or anything. My skin is just kind of pale and I don't need a lot of coverage. I basically just want something that makes my skin look nicer color because I hate looking pale. Um, so this does that and I've literally been this for years and you just, oh, I just love it, I just love it. It takes two seconds to put on. You don't even need prime or moisturize before you use this because it is just fab. So yeah, absolutely love this foundation and this is something I'm gonna be wearing for a long, long time. And for highlight, I use um, High Beam by Benefit and Sunbeam by Benefit. These are both practically the same. The High Beam is just more pinky kind of tones, pinky icy tones, and the Sunbeam is more warm tones. I actually think that the um, High Beam is more noticeable on my skin. I have the I have the Sunbeam on now, and you can actually tell because the light is shining on my face that I have it on. But for some reason, this one definitely just comes out more. But then I do prefer the tone of this one more, but it's just not as noticeable. So I kind of use both. Um, but yeah, I really like these. I just pop them on the top of my cheekbone and up on my eyebrow, and then sometimes I might put a little bit down here on my nose. That sounds really weird, but I swear it looks all right. And it just brightens my face. And these are. I do think these are actually quite expensive, but I just keep buying them because I'm too lazy to look for a new um, highlighter. They do last for a long time, which is obviously a huge plus. So yeah, I like these a lot. Okay, so for eyes then, as a primer, I have been using this for years again. I use a MAC Paint Pot, and I get this in the color Painterly. And as you can see, it's just skin color, and it's really creamy and nice, and I just put that all over my eyelid. And whether I'm putting um, just eyeliner on or eyeshadow on, this just really gives your eyelid a nice color, because my eyelids can actually get a bit red. Um, um, so this kind of just makes it nice and skin colory and just wakens my eyes up. Um, the Urban Decay have like a really good uh, primer as well, but I just really like this one. And I think it's only like 18 euro or something. I've had this one for like over a year now and it's still going strong and I use it pretty much every day. So that is another one. And yeah, it really is just the perfect color for um, your eyelids. So yeah, I constantly use that. My eyeliner, of course, I talked about this a few times in a few videos, but in case you're new, I didn't know. I wear like a winged cat eye like line, whatever it's called, every, pretty much every single day of my life. And this is the holy grail of winged liner. It's the Collection Extreme Felt Tip Liner, 24 hour felt tip liner. Oh my God, this is just amazing. Like if you haven't tried this, just please try it. And it's only four euros, so that is pretty freaking good deal. See the nib is actually quite um, thick, but it really just works amazingly. It lasts. It does last for 24 hours. It lasts until you remove it, basically. Um, I've like wiped my eyes and all sorts and it hasn't come off. So it's just like it's the best. For mascara, it is my one and only They're Real by Benefit. Um, loads of people like this. I think it's a pretty popular one. And again, I just really like the way this looks. It 
it separates, it thickens, it does everything. It does everything. I just love this. It's And it's, you know, 20 something euro, but 20 something euro well spent because this is a great, great, great mascara. Really just separates my lashes and that's what I really like. It doesn't make your eyelashes look fake as what the name is alluding to, but it just makes them look great. It makes you look like you've great eyelashes and I definitely don't have great eyelashes. I'm not gonna talk for too long about these because everyone I'm sure is so sick of hearing about them but the Naked palettes are basically the only thing I use for eyeshadow. Um, we've just got the Naked 1, the Naked 2, and then the Naked Basics. Um, all of these are just amazing. I use this one in my, I keep this in my handbag. I actually prefer the 1 to the 2 because I just prefer the colour schemes in this. They're less shiny, I think. But anyway, I use them all, all the time, and if you don't have a Naked palette and you're interested in eyeshadows, then oh my god, get your shit together, get that 40 euro together, and buy the first one I would say. The third one I have don't have so I can't say but the first one is just the best one in my opinion and yeah where I don't know where I'd be without these I don't know what I'd be putting on my eyes but of course I'm just I'm not going to go into detail about these I think everyone knows how amazing they are and as I said this is all I use on my eyes guys this is all I use. Okay for eyebrows then this is a new product now I only started getting a few months ago but I know I'm going to be using it the whole time and it is Brow Drama by Maybelline. This, I got this in dark brown, and this is just really, really good. It just basically, because my eyebrows are black anyway, I don't need to really, it's not that I need to add a lot of colour to them, but this just keeps them in place all day long. It doesn't like wash off, doesn't smudge off. You just, again, you have to remove it. You have to properly wipe your eyebrows um, when you're taking off your makeup. Oh, I just really like this. Basically, I was using pencils, but I feel like you could see the pencil and then I also felt that like if I was wearing a hat sometimes it would like my eyebrows would move. This just keeps them like really, 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 really solid and in place and okay, it actually doesn't feel the lysis, it does feel quite hard and crusty, which sounds disgusting, but actually is really handy because your eyebrows are not gonna move. And if you've lighter eyebrows, this will just darken them up nicely as well. Um so yeah, this is Maybelline Brow Dram. I absolutely love this, and especially if you've got thick eyebrows like me, it just really keeps them in place and combs them and all that nice stuff. That was my um, makeup essentials video. I know it's quite short and only a few things but they are just the things that I constantly buy. Other things I buy now and again and I really like but then I don't like them enough to keep buying them. Yada yada yada. But these things are my in constant supply and constantly running out of, constantly to repurchase. So I thought I'd share them with you. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you do, thumbs it up and be sound. Um, if you haven't subscribed, obviously do. That would be amazing. And leave me a comment below if you use any of these things there are any alternatives that I should try I'm not going to promise that I will try them because I'm pretty stuck in my rut but I might so yeah thanks for watching see you soon bye